What's up guys, back with another brand new 1v1 video. As you guys can see, we're sitting second in Australia and I think globally we're like 40th or something, yep, 39th in the world. In the 1v1s, have not been playing the four player games so much, kind of just been, I've been going through a few things as you guys can tell, haven't been posting as much. So just trying to navigate my way through, you know, everything that's going on in my personal life. And obviously my computer broke, so I've been dealing with that, but but thanks to you guys, you guys managed to help me out with a thousand dollars, which is just incredible. So I really appreciate all you guys and I'll be sure to give a shout out to, you know, people that sent like $50, $100, just absolutely insane. So I'll be sure to shout you guys out in a four player game, but thanks to everyone who's who donated and who's watching this video, I really appreciate it. And I did end up ordering, uh, uh, so before I had a kind of a Mac and I, I just ordered another MacBook. So it's not, it's not like a gaming PC. I mean, Gatan, you don't need a massive gaming PC, like three grand for Gatan. And I do a lot of others kind of work on my computer and Apple is kind of what I'm, I'm used to, but I'll be sure to end up getting a sort of a gaming computer once I get things together a bit more. And yeah, so I, I ended up buying not the newest one, but kind of like the, the more cheaper one. But that's going to be, that's going to help heaps. Hopefully it comes in the next week or two. And yeah, I'm really thankful for everyone that helped me out with that. Incredible. Really thankful. And let's get into some 1v1s. Okay, so 2042, we got to win three games, I think. And then we're back to that number one spot. Now I just need, I just need to hold it. I wonder, should I just quit once I get the number one? I feel like once I get to 2300, that's the main goal is what I want to achieve. But yeah, let's get into it. All right. And we are straight in. There's the sound. All right, let's take a look at this board. Plenty of wheat, plenty of brick. The wood's not bad. The sheep might be a bit of an issue. It's kind of scattered. Yeah, these are one of those boards where it's like, everything's pretty even here, isn't it? I guess the ore is kind of clumped up here. You gotta kind of think, what does he want to take here? Like if I was to take an A510, A34 is a pretty good pick. And you know, you can obviously take A410, which is nuts. A34 goes with a lot because you don't have to really worry about the the sheep as much per se. Could also just take A410 straight up, which isn't bad. And either way, I'm kind of getting something. Mm, the problem then is the sheep and the... Yeah, A34 is not bad. I might actually just grab the A34 here. I feel kind of good about that. I, I actually don't mind something like a 611.3. Let's see what happens here. I want to see what he does with the sheep and the wheat situation, right? Okay, this is fine. I mean, I also don't mind just taking this and blocking him off the 11, 10, 3 completely. We get the sheep port. Also, there's this free road. So he's kind of telling me like, look, you got to take a free road if you want to keep that spot. I don't mind it. Do I mind 6113? I think it can actually really go off, to be honest. A few key 11s could be big. Obviously, we get the free road to the, all the ore, get to this sheep spot. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to take it. It's kind of what I had in mind to begin with anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. There's a four, which is key for us. And he's going to go to the 639. Oh, and he built straight away. Roll me a seven. Two. So now we can track his hand very well. Nice seven, that's fine. All right, let's roll a seven here. 11 is key, absolutely money, that 11. All right, now we have our settle. All right, and we get an extra wheat from him. I would prefer the wood, but the wheat is fine. Now I've got a decision whether I wanna block his, I probably should block his brick. Yeah, I guess I'll block his brick. It's a tough one, you know, because he's got the double wheat, obviously. He's got double sheep. I could block the 10, but I'm about to settle on the 10. And I think I do take the settle. I think it is worth it. Yeah, let's run it. Let's run it. We want to get the city up and pumping straight away. Another wait for him. Nine. Eight is good. Okay, so three is money. 10 is also nice. 12, he's going to pop a dev. There's a dev for him. So he has wood. He has wood and something else. There's the eight, no knight, but gets the robber. Seals the brick, okay, the three is fine. Four is also fine, we like that. Damn, that's not good. Okay, seals the wheat, which is fine. Nine, we need to get the city up right now. 
more shape. Eight. No, three, ten, eleven, hey? Oh, no. There's the eleven. We like that. The eleven's a key for us. And there's the six. So the A34 is a must for us. Ten. I think he wants to road settle into the the ore here. No, he takes that. Twelve. We're going to pop a dev. The knight is perfect for us. There's the money three. And now we play the knight for sure. And he just spent a lot of his wheat there. And now it becomes kind of really tough to block him. Maybe the nine. Ah, I'll still go with the four. The four feels all right. We roll the seven anyway. This is really tough to block him, honestly. We need to get to the six, eleven, five badly. All right, I'll block the 10. It is what it is. Getting the shape is really key. Let's get an eight. 11's a big, six or eight. There's the eight. Very, very nice. And I'm actually of the mind that we just buy another city here, to be honest, and hope for that six to roll. He's going to have plenty of wheat kind of shape for us. Yeah, the 11s are coming in clutch and another eight to go with it. Wow. Now's kind of where you don't really want. I mean, I want the wood, right? So I think popping a dev is good in this spot and the yop is massive. Okay, this is a good spot for us. Five rolls. He buys a dev. There's the money six. And we will take that six, five, 11. We get the double sh double weight kind of spots going. Yeah, do we just take the shape? He most likely blocks the weight, right? Yeah, we probably have to do something like this. He's definitely got a knight up for us. Hopefully he doesn't steal the shape or the ore. No knight, okay. The no knight is massive. If he has two VPs and we kind of taking this game out. Eight, let's roll an eight, come on. Damn, the seven. Okay, perfect, seals box of three, which we don't really care about. And we need that eight and then we're just fine. 10. Okay, the 10s are really bad because he needs the city. I wonder if he has the mono. Gets to the wheat port. Seven. I don't even think he has any wheat. We're most likely getting ore from him. I guess I'll block the six. I, can't, I mean, I'm kind of okay with it. The mono would suck. You know what? I think we have enough kind of ore flow that we can kind of just do this. A road builder. Wow, there's no knights out to begin. There's the eight. So maybe I could have waited, but if he had a mono there. Yeah, that's exactly why. And now we just pop two devs. The knight is good. Good security here. And we can even take road eventually. We could. I'd love to get to 9, 10, 2. That would really secure our position. Nine for him. All right. Does he really not have the city still? No, there it is. There's his city. Four is good. Four is really good. A big six would be nice. There it is. Now, all we need is a five or an eight. Again, he's made that move. Wow. Very risky. There's the five. And now we're going to cut him off, which is massive. Absolutely gigantic. I, you know what? I kind of think I misplayed this game. I don't think this, this is probably a low percentage of winning here. It is kind of my first kind of game in a while. But we do have this road path open, which is really nice. The next thing we should be doing is going to a port immediately. I mean, this is very bad that we don't have a port right now. So let's go ahead and build this road. I'm okay with that. We have a knight up our back pocket. He has two wooden, one wheat. Nice. That's six blocks coming in clutch. Now you roll another seven. And at this point, I think just hit the 10. Yeah, the wheat is beautiful as well. <laughs> He's very mad. All the lucky rolls and sevens. That's pretty funny. We got a seven brick. So he cleared. A, I don't think he has the mono here. Just really wouldn't. It wouldn't make sense if he had the mono. I've, I'm of the mind of supporting for a sheep, to be honest, rather than a wood. I feel like the sheep is a little hard to get. He's going to block the three. It's weird because he doesn't really have a great place to block me. Like, does he really want to block eight? We'll hit the 10. We get the wood from him. Another four rolls. Obviously, I want to get to there, but it's a little bit risky. Let's play it safe. Let's build this way. Keeps our road path alive as well, which is always something you need to think about. Massive six. 
He has a bit of weight and shape for us. Hmm. Let's just port for it. Let's not be greedy. Yeah, we get that 3 to 1, which is massive. We're basically on 11 points here. There's the 10. And without cities, he kind of just falls apart. So as long as that 10's blocked, then I feel good. And we can kind of keep going to, to secure a road here. Massive 3. Okay, here's the mono. He's got it. Did he really hold the mono? He might have. No, he didn't. Yeah, he's going to be building out here, which doesn't do much for him. He's just trying to keep Road alive as he gets another saddle. That's another city for us. I think the city is probably worth it, to be honest. The six has become massive. 11's three or five, two weight. I know the double dev is really nice there, but let's try, let's try finish this off quick. Fours. I feel kind of bad for him right now. He's kind of getting destroyed here. Another city, we could go for it. Oh my gosh. The mono and the knight. Okay, we like that. 10 rolls. I'm not even sure what he has a bunch of. It's kind of all even, is it? Okay, ports for a dev. Seven. I don't really love the nines here as we get a wood. We'll take that. Let him play his knight. Blocks the three. Oh my gosh, the two. Take army here. Keep that 10 blocked. The wood is perfect and he just gives up. All right, well, it's a good start. I feel like that was definitely on the more lucky side that game, unfortunately for us. Let's just have a quick look. I mean, the dice starts are balanced here. Like, that is pretty balanced. The 9, obviously. He only really got to the 9 later. So it wasn't that beneficial. It'll be the 7 stats that are the big one. I mean, we played 3 knights. He only played 1. So he got 4 7s and we got 5. So it really, it's not that... It's not that big of a difference. And he was saying 11s and 3s. 3s rolled 11 times. 11s were good 5 times. That's obviously really good, but what was the 11 for us? That was kind of key. That's probably what won us the game because we needed the wood really badly. But all right, one for one. Let's see if we can get another one. All right, and we're in our second game here, guys. A little sloppy on the first game, but hopefully we can tighten things up a little bit here. Okay, so the wheat is going to be something on this board. Mm, oh man, this six is way too good to give up, right? Nine, five, ten. What does he do with the wood and brick stitch? If I can take something like 6, 5, 10, it means that potentially maybe a 2, 4, 9 into the 6, 3, 9. 6, 3, 4 would be really nice for us. It cuts him off pretty directly. 8, 3, 5, is he going to play? If he leaves us any of this, we just rip it. Look, I don't think the 8, 5, 10 is the way to go here. You don't want to give him the brick. I do like the 6, 5, 10 quite a lot here. Yeah, I feel good with this. I mean, you can point left, you can point right. Either way is good. There is a chance that we probably just point right. Eh. Yeah, I think I'm more of a fan of pointing right because I kind of see this 249 as potentially what we're going to go with here. Let's see how things pan out. If he goes with maybe a double eight kind of scenario here, I can definitely see something like that as well. And there isn't any free roads, so if he wants to cut me off here, he probably has better odds to do it. So let's just point right. Let's be safe. The ore port's also quite nice for us. I am expecting something like A35, but it doesn't the the lack of weight is it's definitely something. I put him in a, a bit of a scenario where he has to really think here. And if he's not the brightest player, then he might struggle. Because there's no clear answer to this puzzle that I've left him. It's just so hard to play with. Like 8, 11, 10, and 6, 3, 4 is way too weak. Mm, now there's 5 seconds. He's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. He's like, oh my god, what do I pick? What do I pick? The stress, the stress. And the bot ended up placing exactly what I'm talking about. The problem with the 8, 3, 5 is just what are you going to do with it? Are you going to play the double eights? It can, it can work. It can work for sure. No, he doesn't play. He's going to play without the... Wow. 
He's going to play without the brick and build to the A10. It's a bit too slow, to be honest, is what I think. A little bit too slow. Look, we get everything that we wanted with like something like a 634 into a 249. I think it's it's pretty damn good. We've got every resource. I don't like leaving him this, all this side of the board because once he does get to the eight, it does become kind of annoying. I will say that. Let's run it. Let's see, like we were kind of always hoping to get something around there. I'm still happy with it. Was he started with? A dev, a dev and a wood. Damn, okay, so the fives aren't what we want. The tens are definitely what we want here. He's got a lot of sheep here. Wow. And we get it straight away. I almost want to take the settle here. There's been no sixes. Well, I don't really want to give him a weed. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Let's let's hold one turn. Three. He's going to buy dev. Yeah, I kind of want to rack the sixes up a little bit more. Maybe now's the time to, to invest in the... Still no seven though. I'm a bit worried. Let's let's leave it for now. Four. Eight. Gosh. Now I'm kind of forced into my hand a little bit. Wait, wait. Another five is how I get the shape. Hmm. Okay, I'll settle. I'll settle. Good chance he steals the wood if he wants to take it. He might play the aggressive knight. No aggressive knight. And I roll the first seven. We're going to hit the eight. So we want some sixes here badly. One, it gives us the wood to pat our hand. And two, we want to get the city up as fast as we can before he gets the seven on us. Yeah, so we've got it in our hand right now. We can also just buy a dev, which I do like considering. I assume he has a knight, right? You got to assume he has a knight. All we need is a six. We can put our wood if we really want. We do produce quite a lot of wood. Should we be aggressive here and port the wood? So dangerous. I think we do. Let's play aggressive this game. Sometimes it can work out. Sometimes it can't. I don't mind if he steals the sheep from me. Let's just get the ore and the, and the wheat out of my hand. Right. Nines. Sixes are massive here. And he's going to play the knight. He gets the sheep, which is fine. Uses up an aggressive knight. And there's still been only one seven, I believe, for this game, so. Okay, that's a good, that's a really big block for him. Nice, well played. And he's going to get the settle. No, seven. Tens are big. Once we can get the double nines up as well, it was really nice. We can afford to hold here. Maybe not, because I don't, really don't want him to steal the brick. So maybe that's a slight miscalculation. But he gets the wood, blocks the wood. I'm okay with that. And there's our seven. Okay, so a few things we can do here. I mean, obviously blocking the, the ore is, is pretty good. I believe he has some ore in hand as well. I think he has two ore. I'm going to just block the ore. Yeah, there's one. I think we just pop the dev. VP sucks. This is always the case, right? You steal the ore. You get a perfect block on him. You get a dev. It's a VP and then he rolls the seven. I just, I'm so good at calling that, man. And he gets the brick as well, which sucks. Fours are nice. All right, seven me up. We need a seven badly here before he can start to get any momentum and we can't pop any devs. Yeah. Not good for us. A few eights here as well. Yeah, that one seven is just so critical, right? And we got to hope that he doesn't have a knight here. Pray and hope. And honestly, like the, the brick's really important for us, but we need to get a knight. We need, this is very important. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with the mono. That's obviously really good, but we do prefer the knight. Yeah, I think it's better to just get the brick out of our hand there, to be honest. Perfect, all right, there's another seven. Hopefully he doesn't have another knight. All right, he's getting all the good stuff. That's okay, 10 rolls. Four. And the two is nice. Okay, so we have road settle here. It's probably better for us to go to the six, nine, 12, but this three to one is gonna come in quite handy for us. So I might just grab it now. I'm thinking about road, right? Like it is important for us to have road, I think. He already has the knights. He's got the eights as well. 
I just think we need to grab the three to one here. Just so we can be a little bit more flexible. And he's got at least two ore, I believe. He might just have one. Let's let him seven out here. Another eight. He might just want to save for the city as well. If, especially if he has another knight. There's that six. Yeah, the double six hurts. And we're just going to pop a dev here. Yeah, that's fine. As he rolls a seven. Seals the sheep. Will he buy a dev? So that tells me he's got a knight as well. I'm of the mind to not block the the ore. What roll hurts us the most? I've just got to block the ore, right? Yeah, I'll just block the ore here. 10. That's fine. Build the road. I kind of want to save the road here. Because I want him to steal a brick or a wood. Nice. Okay, now's where we're going to mono. Please don't buy a dev. No, I have no way he has the city. Damn. Oh, okay, perfect. F roll a five or a four. Nine will take. Okay, we've just got to rip it here. It's two ore. It is what it is. It just it just sets him back a little bit. And it allows us to... Oh, give me a knight. Give me a knight. Okay, nice. Oh, we've missed out on so many sixes. Hit that five. The, the more we can delay his, his building on the... He's built his city, the better it is. And we can build our own settlement here on the 6, 9, 12. We need to get a few sixes here before he gets a seven. Nice block. All right, we'll take that. How often is the four rolled? I think we're going to bounce it between the oars. It's just, it's the, it's the important thing for him. And we definitely need to try to get a knight here for sure. Nice. Perfect. Nice block. Six. All right, waiting on one six here. There it is. That's money. Beautiful. The 10. And now I think we're just going to do this. Yeah, I think this is actually the right move. Just because the 3 to 1 becomes so big. And we might even just build the two roads here with the 9 up our sleeve to secure this 5-4. And just, just secure our road path a little bit more here. I could even bounce on over to the 2-5. But let's try secure the path, I think. It's probably the best thing to do here. 3. As he takes road, he's going for the six. Damn, that eight is really annoying. Five. He can't settle though, so kind of risky by him. You know, one ten. I think he just realized then. As the nine rolls. Hmm, am I feeling spicy? A ten doesn't get us it. Gets us awfully close though, doesn't it? Maybe with a potential knight play. I believe he has two ore right now. Yeah, he should be able to just pull for a city, I think. Potentially even city subtle. Just the city. There's our six. Now, I think we just got to play some devs here. Sorry, buy some devs. Because I think we're going to need to take army eventually. That's interesting. Mm, so do I play the aggressive knight here is the question. And I'm thinking yes on the five. Mm, the five just sucks when it rolls, man. Just really sucks. Whereas the four is at least I'm getting three wheat. Yeah, let's do it. Let's play the aggressive knight. Let's, we're playing aggressive this game. See if we can get a 10 here. Nice. That is beautiful. I don't know if he can. Okay, he can settle. That's big. That's big. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I get, I, he gets the two ore, but he's only got two ore in his hand. We get the settle here. Do I want... Do I want to buy the dev? can even buy two devs. He's going to give me an ore. I just produce so much sheep, right? Whereas he kind of doesn't. You know what? I think I am. A nine gives... I think I'm going to play the aggressive knight here. Once again, we're being aggressive. I think once... If we can take army from him, it's pretty big. Let's hit this 10. Oh, no. 11 rolls. Oh, gosh. That sucks so much. I like, ran out of time there. The 12. 
Another VP. That's not great. Let's do something like this and clear our hand. Another knight. Take road here. And if he doesn't have a knight, we win. No knight. Let's go. Huge. Oh, maybe he doesn't want to play it. Either way, we win. A huge win. Massive win. And I wonder if he... If he didn't have a knight, if he had a knight or not, because I had zero cards, right? Was that the reason he was holding it? Nine knights. Yeah, no, he didn't get it. He actually drew the, the mono. Perfect time for your opponent to draw the mono. And that's a huge win. There we go. So where, what are we at? Did it tell me? I'll have to go check. Once we look at these stats first, nine was non-existent. What were the sevens like? Pretty even. Yeah, basically even. I haven't actually played too many games where the seven's been really off lately. We must be close. What are we, 31st in the world? Are we one game off or are we... We're one oh my god, we're exactly even with him. Okay, okay. We're going to leave it at that for now. We're even. Even with number one in Australia. Hopefully in the next video we can overtake him. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.